In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fully utilize the latest Adobe Illustrator 2025 release, specifically focusing on the new mock-up tool. This is perfect for those who are looking to bring their 2D designs to life by showcasing them in realistic settings. We'll be covering the basics and I'll be sharing some quick tips to get you started. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Okay, let's start by locating the mock-up tool. You can access it by navigating to Object, Mock-up, and then selecting create mockup. However, the mockup tool can only be used when both the mockup image and vector object are selected. Before we actually use the mockup tool, it's crucial to set up your artwork correctly. Here I have a fake branding design of a coffee shop, which you'll use for this demonstration. Make sure your vector layers are grouped appropriately and that your design is clean. Remember, mockups work best when your artwork is fully scalable without any rasterization. Then let's go ahead and import an asset that we can use for our mockup. This could be a shopping bag, a poster, or any objects that suits your needs. I'm going to be using this image of a paper cup. Next, let's apply our artwork using the mockup feature. To do this, select both the vector object and the mockup image, then navigate to object, mockup, create mockup. Illustrator will then automatically snap the design into place on the chosen surface. Notice how the tool adjusts your artwork to match the contours and perspective of the object. This makes it easy to create realistic representation of how your branding will look in a real world context. To adjust the fit, click here on the edge handles and use the rotation scale options to make any changes as needed. Another thing you can do to enhance your mock-up is using transparency and blend mode adjustments. While Illustrator does not have any built-in lighting controls, you can simulate some lighting effects by playing with transparency and experimenting with some blend modes to add depth and realism. You can also edit the transparency of your artwork. This is especially useful if you're working with packaging or want to show your design on a glass surface. Once you're happy with the mock-up, you can save the image as a template to be used in the future. To do this, simply click the little plus icon within the mock-up panel. Illustrator also has a few set templates built in. Just select the drop-down menu and choose a category. Once you've found an image you like, make a new copy of your design and make sure it's selected. Hover over one of the images and select Preview Mockup, then select Place on Canvas. And there you have it, complete mockup ready to impress your clients or boost your portfolio. The mockup tool in Illustrator makes it easier than ever to create stunning realistic representations of your designs without needing to jump between different software. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more in-depth Illustrator tips and tricks. Drop your questions in the comment section below and I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.